Terry, thanks very much for joining us on Seagulls TV and congratulations on being elected onto the board of the Williamstown Football Club. You must be excited about your newest venture with, uh, with the Seagulls. Thanks. No, it, it is good. It's, um, it just came at the right time uh, in my life at the moment to be able to come back and, well not necessarily come back, I've been around for a while, but to now to step up into the new role and add something to the board I hope. Uh, can you tell us about how the move came about? Um, number one, I, I feel as though the time's right, but uh, probably number two, the more important one, was that uh, two very close mates of mine have, uh, have served the board, uh, first with Big, Big Barry, Roundy doing it, and then uh, the great man Ian Chops Rickman stepped in and did it. And, and I think that they were able to contribute some very good football knowledge and football nows because at the end of the day, we are a footy club. And I think the experience that Barry and, and Chops brought was invaluable. And it just seemed to me that I was next in line to step up and say, yep, I'm ready to have a crack at this. So is that what you're hoping to bring to the board, a bit of football nows? Well, I don't bring a real wide skill set other than that. Um, uh, most people will know my background is in education and, and, and teaching and that sort of thing. But um, my football career has probably been pretty wide and extensive. And after football, I moved into a sort of sports administration and my, my final role was with the Australian Sports Commission. I was working with Olympic Sports in their coach development in, in Canberra and uh, all those insights into how we look to build a, a successful culture and continue a successful culture are some of the things I've been exposed to. They're, they're not necessarily things you can objectively, objectively write down as a list of skills that I have, but I think an experience is, will put me in good stead. Uh, you've had such a long history and affinity with the Williamstown Football Club. I'm wondering if you can take us all the way back to 1983, 1984 and how your initial move to the club came about. Yeah, now would I be right in saying that you weren't even born then? Correct, correct. <laughs> <laughs> so it was a long time ago. Uh, so yeah, I came down to Williamstown in 1984. Uh, under the chairmanship of Tony Hanabry, our president, and uh, Merv Hobbs, who uh, was the uh, the coach at that particular stage. And uh, my playing time at Footscray had pretty much come to a, an end. I, I'd been there for 11 years and done my 150 games, but uh, the last year was sort of reserves playing and doing some coaching within the Footscray Footy Club reserve side, and that was, that, that, that whetted my appetite a little bit. So when uh, Hannah uh, gave me the opportunity to come down in 84, it, it was perfect timing once again for myself and my family to move down here and live in Williamstown. And just one final one, Terry. You've been such a long-term supporter and con contributor to the club. What is it about the Williamstown Football Club that has you wanting to remain involved? Primarily because it is a footy club. You know, I, I've only ever been involved in three footy clubs in my life. Uh, Warburton was where I was born and, and uh, played up till I was 17 at uh, the Warburton and Milgrave Footy Club up, up at the head of the Yarra River, uh, then to Footscray and now to Willie. Willie has a real special feel about it because it has a rich and deep history of success and also of endeavour. Like even in the times when we were really going bad, people would stand up, roll up their sleeves and say, no, this club's going to keep going. This club is going to survive and this club's going to succeed well into the future. And I think we all still carry a level of responsibility to those who went before us, who had a crack at ensuring that our great club stayed on. And all of us now, I think, should be looking forward to the same sort of a contribution to be made so that Williamstown Football Club continues to stand strong in whatever competition they put us in, we'll be there and we'll be the best. Well, Terry, thank you so much for giving up your time to have a chat to us and congratulations again on your appointment to the board. Thanks very much, mate.